Of course, men can also develop other breast problems. More commonly is what's known as men boobs or gynecomastia. I'm Prof Tan Soo Bing. I'm the Head of Division of Breast Surgery as well as Director of Breast Centre. Mastectomy is an operation to remove the entire breast. So depending on the area of spread of the cancer, it may therefore be necessary to remove the entire breast. A lumpectomy is an operation to remove only where the lump is. But for cancer, because we know that what we can feel or what we can see where the lump is may not be the full extent of the lump. And therefore, we would tend to remove not only the lump, but a little bit around the lump. And therefore, we tend to prefer to call it breast conserving surgery rather than just a lumpectomy itself. If the cancer is confined to only a small area of the breast, then it is possible just to remove the area and not necessary to have the entire breast removed. It affects the woman's appearance and her body image and sometimes even her self-confidence and how she presents herself to the world. And there's a lot of emotional attachment to the breast. I had a 50 plus 60 year old lady. On the day of the operation, she was very, very, very uh, anxious. I had to hold her, literally walked her all the way into the operating theatre and assisted her to lie down. She then took the opportunity to grab hold of me in a bear hug. So she was lying down on the operating theatre and I was over her and was stuck down there for a good 10-15 minutes until we managed to relax her and put her under anesthesia before I could proceed on with the operation. When a woman realises that uh, she has breast cancer and she needs to lose part of the breast or whole of the breast, she not only has to worry about the cancer, but she also has to be concerned about whether you know, her body shape will change, whether her husband, her partner, her boyfriend will still accept her as it is. So it's a very, very emotional time for the patient. After you remove the breast, the one side will be flat, whereas the other side, she will still have the breast there. So there are a few options. One is to wear an external, what we call a prosthesis. So there's a special underwear, a bra, that has got a pocket where they put this thing, uh, like a sponge-like material that's made of silicon, outside in the breast. The pocket is to keep this uh, prosthesis in place so that it doesn't move and doesn't drop out accidentally. So with that, the woman can wear her normal clothes and even go swimming. There's special swimwear that allows this prosthesis to be fitted into the swimwear. It's the least troublesome in the sense that she does not require to have any other surgery and the quickest downtime with regards to recovery from the operation. For those who feel that it is still unacceptable, they can opt for various forms of reconstruction. To reconstruct is to recreate the shape of the breast. For those who are very active and want a very short downtime, then she might not be so comfortable with uh, using her own tissue because using her own tissue means that she will require to have another scar somewhere from which the tissue is taken from. If not, then is to use uh, an artificial shape which is called an implant. So this is a shape like a breast where we can put under the skin and the muscle to give you the instant shape. So in such cases, then there's no need for another scar elsewhere and the downtime is usually shorter. Breast cancer is not common in men, less than 1% or so. Of course, men can also develop other breast problems. More commonly is what's known as men boobs or gynecomastia. And this can be due to a whole host of problems, like for instance, uh, some medication that they may be on and things like that.